Ridge Vineyards has a rich history of winemaking and has been sort of a golden ground for grapes ever since the 1800s. They believe in single vineyard wines using pre-industrial techniques for winemaking. Here today to teach us about their process, we have Mauro and Kyle. Thanks for being here at Live in the Bay. Thanks for having us. Yes, this is the best part of our day, guys. So we're super excited that you're here. And for our viewers, you have two locations in the Bay Area. Can you just go over those real quick for us? Yeah, sure. We have the uh, original Montebello Estate, which was bonded in 1962. Uh, that's where our founding partners uh, started making wine initially. Um, it's in the mountains, uh, the Santa Cruz Mountains above Cupertino, overlooking Silicon Valley. Uh, and we grow mostly Cabernet Sauvignon there with the accompanying varietals, uh, Bordeaux varietals, and a little bit of Chardonnay as well. Very cool. And we're showing video of your harvest right now, which looks so beautiful. <laughs> beautiful. And your other location is a little north of San Francisco. Yeah, so our second location is in Sonoma County in the town of Healdsburg. This is our Lytton Springs winery. And here we're focusing more on Zinfandel base blends. Um, but these are really uh, from blocks that can, you know, date back to the early 1900s, still oh. producing, so well over 100 years old. And we refer to these as field blends really because there's different varieties that are planted together um, that get harvested uh, at the same time and really, um, you know, lead to the, the uniqueness and, and the, the consistent high quality of these, of these wines. Very cool. And I want to talk about the pre-industrial winemaking technique. What does that even mean? Right. So... Yeah, winemaking from when winemaking started was was very hands-off and so we we coined the term pre-industrial winemaking because we like to follow those traditional methods and so we don't use a lot of additives in our wine we use minimum effective so2 in our wine uh, just to keep the bad stuff out uh, we are 100% organic at both of our estates at Lynn Springs and Montebello largest organic wow. grower in Sonoma and Santa Cruz mountains um, and so we really focus on this pre-industrial winemaking techniques, uh, low intervention, and think that it is a natural, natural product that requires a natural process. Incredible, yes. And you guys yeah. kind of just wrapped up harvest season, right? You yep. guys brought us some of your grapes here. Yes. Tell me about these right here. So those uh, those are some clusters of Cabernet Sauvignon. Uh, oh, yes. Had to scour the vineyards this morning pretty well <laughs> to find anything left, which is good that Thank not you. much is left there. Yes. <laughs> um, but uh, yeah, very tight clusters. Those are actually a little bit of second crop as well. And so you have to leave those in the vineyard because they they don't mature as um, as readily as the first crop does. So it's a little, you know, can be a little tedious sometimes. Okay, cool. Well, we want to get into the tasting. Yeah. We've got Absolutely. three delicious wines here. Uh, where should we start, guys? We'll start with the Cabernet, or the, the Chardonnay, I'm sorry. Okay. Uh, this is the 2022 Estate Chardonnay grown at Montebello. Right. Uh, we grow about cheers, 20... Cheers. Uh, it's wow. it smells so good. <laughs> it does. We grow about 20 acres of Chardonnay. It's all uh, whole cluster press, so the grapes go right into the press. And then they are barrel fermented, so it doesn't see any tank. Uh, natural yeah. primary fermentation and malolactic fermentation on this wine. Uh, full malolactic, which provides, you know, a rounder mouthfeel. Uh, we use mostly neutral oak in this wine, so we don't want the oak to really impart too much on it. We want the natural uh, minerality and acidity to show through. And which uh, which property do you say this is grown at? That's from Montebello. Montebello, okay, Correct. fabulous, yeah. I so love nice. um, kind of listening to you describe it because as uh -huh. it's on my palate, you're saying, I'm like, ding, like everything you say, <laughs> yeah. like, there it is, there it is. But this smelled incredible. Yes. And then tasting it, like just, it's, it, 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 I'm speechless. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, oh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so how delicious it is. But like, this just tastes like a rich wine. It's like if you were so to say good. this is like a rich, like, yeah, it's just delicious. Makes like, you wow. feel bougie, right? Yeah. It's very, very fancy. <laughs> awesome. Okay. Two okay. Breath away. Two Let's move on to Fantastic. the second one. What have we got here? Yeah, so our second wine here is our 22 Lytton Springs. Uh, we've been making Lytton Springs since 1972. So this current vintage, we are, we are actually celebrating the 50th vintage, uh, the 50th wow. anniversary of Lytton Springs, which is super exciting. Um, and really just, you know, speaks to the consistent quality of this vineyard that continues to produce and, and the, the magic of the field blends. Oh. Um, so kind of like I spoke earlier, you have different varieties kind of planted um, together, predominantly Zinfandel, but you've got, you know, around 60-65% um, Zinfandel, a great chunk of Petit Syrah and Carignan for that 
uh, structure and acidity, and then a bunch of other complementary varieties, including white varietals that mm. um, kind of when they come in together and co-ferment it, um, you know, really help with with uh, the structure, the aromatics of the final product. Mm -hmm. And so, um, you know, the 22 vintage is a, a relatively warm vintage for us, um, but it's really, you know, shows in the wine with great concentration. Um, it's a full-bodied wine, great structure. You know, you can enjoy it young, but you can put it also down for five, 10, 15 years, wow. and mm -hmm. you can still enjoy it beautifully. Um, so, yeah. Yeah, even then. I love Please one. Cheers. Yes, they can be, like, drink it now, or you can save it for yes, a special occasion. Yes, absolutely. We have to move on to That's this awesome. one to make sure we get this in. Okay. Sure. I love a cab. Tell us about this one. So right. this is the 2000, 2021 uh, uh, Cabernet Estate Sauvignon uh, come from the Montebello Vineyard. We make two different Cabernets, one being the Montebello. This is the estate. Uh, and when we're going through harvest, there's always some lots that are a little more approachable, um, a little uh, quicker in maturation. And so we make those lots separately into the estate Cabernet. And it's not quite as serious of a wine, not quite as structured as the Montebello, but it's more approachable. And it can still be, again, it's it's one that can be uh, enjoyed earlier on, but it can also sell her for 10, 15, 20 years, yeah. whereas Montebello is like 30 to 50 years. Ooh, it smells peppery to me, kind yeah. of. Do you get that these smell, Jess? I do. Mm -hmm. These were all delicious. They I were feel like so these good. can go with so many different dishes Anything. and or yeah by itself. or by itself yeah. <laughs> we really try and make them food friendly yeah, yeah. i think the biggest takeaway is everyone in the south bay you have somewhere to go you don't have to drive all the way all up the way. to sonoma napa yes so, yeah thank Absolutely. you all so so much for coming Our pleasure. that was so wonderful thank you so much for the taste thank you all right thank you.